What's up, everybody? It's your boy Young Soul, aka Supersonic, and welcome to TJ Young Soul TV, guys. So, guys, let me tell you guys what we're doing today. <laughs> Wait, before I do that, guys, I want to say, guys, thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for everything you guys have been doing. Like and comment, subscribing, guys. We're almost to 100 subscribers. And, guys, also, I want to say this real quick. So, y'all, I've been getting messages and everything from the inbox about the whole DJ SX. And guys, you guys also want me to do a mix, actually. Show you guys how to mix on your controller. So guys, that will be coming up soon. And guys, also three days, three days away from the MLK Skate Jam 2022, guys. I'm so excited, guys. Get ready for that ATL vlog. I'm telling you, it's going to be big. It's going to be huge. A lot of editing. But guys, it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. We're going to be there Saturday and Sunday. And guys. Like, you guys understand, I am so grateful to have this opportunity to go there. And, guys, I'm ready to rock on like a super Sonic. Anyways, let's get straight to the video. So, guys, on my Instagram today, I did this questions thing on my story where you guys can ask me a question about skating and just, like, tips and anything. So, guys, make sure you follow my Instagram, TJ Young Soul. And, guys, I'm telling you guys, amazing content on there, especially with my skate videos and stuff. And guys, also follow my DJ account. I am DJ Young Soul. Yeah, make sure you go ahead and follow. But guys, I have some amazing questions on here. And guys, also, I don't know. I hope I can if I can get to a lot of them by the end of this video or by the like, you know. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get these questions started. Let's go, the baby. <laughs> let's go. Huh? Do, no, do. Let's go. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into these questions. Okay, so. This one is from my skate fan, <laughs> Jen Nax. Okay, so, are you back in blood? See, this is not even a skate question, but of course, Pooja, you that's my dog. Well, Pooja, you know I'm really shy, Steve. <laughs> okay, let me stop playing. Okay, Vic Cray. Bro, how do you, I clean my wheels? So this is the way to clean your wheels. Get a bucket of hot water. A bucket of hot water, put soap in it, and then make sure, but, okay, first of all, because I don't know why I, understand like i tell people always put hot water in don't ever put cold water because it can mess up your wheels so guys this is what you need to do make sure you put hot water hot water in a bucket and as you know put soap in it and guys guess what just dump them in there make sure you take the bearings out though make sure you take the bearings out just the wheels take the bearings out the nut out everything just make sure it's just the wheels put it in there let it sit for about a good like what three hours at most and guess what your wheels are clean nicely clean amazing because i actually did that what not re like recently because i went to this rink and it was real dirty so guys um make sure you clean your wheels also too because for some reason i don't know why but like it's just it feels better like i mean there's been times when my wheels just been like regular and probably like i mean a little dirty but they never been like you know going crazy all like messed up and all that stuff so guys I would just prefer to clean your wheels because, I mean, that's just the right thing to do and just being responsible with your wheels. And plus, they'll last longer, too, actually. So, yeah, that's the way to clean your wheels. Yep. Okay, so the next question is from I Am The Real Ice T. Why do you love skating and how do you plan your moves? Well, I love skating because, one, it's just like uh, just an amazing feeling for me and it's like dancing too actually for some reason and it just it feels good it feels good to go in the ring and just spin and just express my motion through my moves and just like just have fun and also about the whole thing about the planning moves and stuff like that I don't ever plan them because I just feel from the heart I just I don't think okay guys for, okay let's be honest I don't ever think when I skate I don't ever think because it's like, the reason why I don't think is because I'm so in the zone all the time. When you guys see the videos on Instagram and stuff like that of me skating and stuff, I am literally in the zone. Like, sometimes I don't even see the camera. So it's like, when I'm in the zone, when I'm in the zone, then it's a whole, di it's a whole different, like, it's a whole different vibe. Like, I'm telling you, like, I don't ever play my moves. I just do it. Like, whatever just I feel, I do it. Like, because, you know, when you're doing skating and stuff like that, like, with me, I have a bounce. So it's like, or when a certain song come on, I just like, you know, dun, 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 like, you know, like, so it's just like a certain type of vibe I get, and that's how I just do my moves, and yeah, so I don't ever plan them, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> so guys, from this next question is, it's from, um, it's the Wiz Skater, and this other person, Devo, oh yeah, Devo up next, okay, when did you start skating? So guys, I started skating when I first started walking at most, so 
Well, no, 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 hold on, let me rephrase that. So, when I started walking, but then probably like some time afterwards, so I say about like two, yeah, two, two, and probably two or one and a half, I'm not sure. But yeah, around that time, I started skating in my dad's high boots, actually. So guys, that's when I first started skating, and that's when um, I was introduced to it, actually. That's when I was actually introduced to skating and stuff like that. And yeah, so that's when I first, in fact, actually, I have a video right here. Look. Yep. Yep, that's me. Yep, that's me. Yep, that is me and my brother. Yep, that's me and my brother. So yeah, so guess what? That's a, you know, that's when we started skating. And yeah, so we, yep, we started when we were exactly that little. Yep, when we was a baby. Yep. Man. Just thinking about it now, it's like, wow. Now look at me. It's like, now look at from that. Now look at me now. It's like, you know, wow. Amazing, and I'm only 16, and that's I think a lot of people will be shocked that they be like, "Wow, so you're 16, you skate like that, you skate like an adult." I'm like, "Well, listen, um, you know, I come from skaters. I mean, my dad, my mom, you know, I got skate family. You know, like, come on now. So it's like, you know, obviously I'm gonna be like, you know, the good skater. But guys, I'm humbly saying I'm blessed with this talent. God gave it to me for a reason, and I think I like I just thank God for like you know just giving me the talent to skate because a lot of kids don't get that talent." And I'm very, you know, happy that my dad, you know, like, you know, showed us how to skate and just like, you know, just showed us how to do like, you know, certain things. Because actually, guys, I used to be a JB skater before I became a house skater. So, yeah. So, you know, during this whole entire time and throughout the years, I found my way as me being the skater how I am today. And I'm very proud of that. So, yeah, that is your question. Okay, guys, so for this next question, actually, it's from my girl, my sister, my big sister, skate family, um, skater underscore Tay, can you teach me how to skate like you? Well, first of all, Tay, first of all, you skate better than me, and also, too, listen, everybody, let me say this real quick, guys, be you, like, be yourself when you skate, like, don't always be like, I'm gonna skate like this person, I'm gonna skate like this person, no, skate like you, because you would never get anywhere by just trying to follow at this other person, see what you can do, you know, you, you're like, just use your own talent, use your own body, like, you know, like, you don't have to be like, oh, I want to be like T-Stacks, or I want to be like Bob, these are random skater names, but yeah, like, just be you, like, that can be your influence, that can be your motivation and all that, but guys, always be you, because there's a lot of people that always be like, oh, I can't wait, I want to skate like you, I'm like, no, be you be you skate like you skate like you <laughs> and guys that's just like also something that you can also like just like i mean i don't understand why people just be like you know i never understand that like i never understand why always somebody wanted to be like somebody like when they skate like i mean you know just see what you can do first and that's just my main thing like just that never like now thinking about it yo that never understood like why do you want to be like somebody else Skate like you. Do you. You're your own person. You're your own human being. Just all, like, that's just the key thing. Like, I'm not even going to stay on it because I'll start talking. So, y'all, that's the key thing. Just be yourself. Skate like you. Be like you. And you have your own style. You have your own moveset. Like, just do you. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's your question. So, I have a question from the real queen, T-Love. The queen, T-Love. Okay, cool. So, what's your favorite skate trick and what's your favorite house and JB song? Ooh, okay. So, my favorite skate trick is um, the 360s. I, that's, like, my thing all day. Love 360s. And um, favorite house song. Ooh, that's hard. Um, so, like, it's between either Loletta Holloway, Hit and Run, or in... Ooh, she said this Okay, fine, I'll just go, okay, I'll just go, oh, uh, no, no, okay, final, do I do Stevie Wonder, favorite one, and, um, also, JV song, um, I think it is Sharpo Style, um, IJB, favorite JV song, I mean, like, I mean, I just love the beat to it, but it's actually kind of hard to decide, because I have a lot of house songs I love, and I have a lot of JV songs I like and love, so it's like, Oh, but anyway, that answered your question. So, this next question I got from Day Sensei. How did you learn how to do your one leg pivots? So, basically, uh, can I be honest? Like, honestly, it's just, like, balance. It's like balance, you know? Like, I kind of always knew how to do it naturally. Like, I mean, honestly, okay, listen. In my heart, I always felt like the moves and stuff that I can do, my balance, my control, 
my like everything i felt like i had it naturally in me you know so it's like naturally planted in me so um the thing i would say is balance is the key to everything key to pivots key to spins key to like everything so um yeah that's the main thing i'll work on and also lifting that foot up not too high but not too you know low so basically um yeah that's the one way to work your pivots or you know all i do is um if you have like you know kind of like bad balance stuff like that i would just hold on something and learn how to twist that foot because when you twist that foot it's a pivot and you're turning it into a okay so it depends well actually it depends how many pivots so like you can turn it into a 360 pivot you can do it into like a 180 or you can do it to a 90 degree pivot how many so like you know it depends what type of angle you go to but always just practice on learning how to twist that foot so that's the one way to work on that pivot and also just make sure you work on your balance because that's a key thing balance is a key thing in skating and control control and technique well technically well technique is not really a big thing but to me it's like a huge thing technique is a huge thing so that's my three things control technique and also um what's the last one i was about to say um, control, technique, and, um, Jesus, and, um, ugh, I just said it, but anyways, just, just remember those, control and technique, that's all I'm saying, control and technique and balance, yeah, so guys, just, you know, that's all I'm saying, just make sure you have those three things, and yeah, that is your question. So I have another question, and it's from Dre the Youngin underscore five, how do you house skate, and how do you have such an amazing bounce? Okay, so basically, house skating. Um, to me, house skating is like a lot of pivots, a lot of spins, having a good bounce, a good feel, and um, it's like that's kind of what it is to me a lot. And just um, jumps. That's kind of also a thing that I do. But see, with house skating, it's just like you know, having that bounce, having that bounce is like how you dance. Like you know, like it's like a. Like, I don't know how to say it in the words, but it's like just like, you know, having a bounce, you know? Like you feel it, you know? And um, what else? Um, so house skating really to me, to me, in my own opinion, just my opinion, I feel like it's more of a like, you know, a dance, like a upbeat type of, you know, bounce beat. You know, like so it's like, um, house to me is like, you know, like with the music for sure. It's like, you know, things that going like, you know, I need to constantly hit and run, do I do, all the old hits and all that stuff with up fast. Like, you know, so um house music is also a big thing with house because like, you know, it's show it's like the rhythm. It's like rhythm skating. But the also thing about it too is that I like about house is also the control people can have with it because people can do so much in one thing but it looks so nice like i look at some of my old videos i'll be like oh wow so that's how i house skate and i be like how the control i had all this stuff i have when you put all those things together control balance and technique when you put all those things together you are bad bam a jamma because pc that's what things but a lot of people don't really have now but a lot of people have but they're learning to do it now which is control and control is a big thing to me because like control is like it just it makes your moves look very precise and like also control makes your move look like okay so save it into somebody see so you do a move it is so simple like a pivot it looks so simple but or is simple but then looking to them it's so hard it's that technique and that control see when you have control and technique you could do anything. You could honestly do anything. You could do any heel spin, any like toe spin. You could do any ankle spin. You can do any like any. You can do any like you can do anything with control and technique. So guys, if you want to learn how to house skate, know those two things. Well, actually, shoot the three things: control, balance, technique. I'm telling you, once you have those three things, you know what? That's the main thing of this video. Control, technique, and balance. I might say them in a different order every single time. Maybe I sometimes forget. But guys, that's the three things you need to know. Because it's very important to have. I feel like a lot of people don't get that. But guys, that's answered your question. And let's go ahead to the next question. Alright guys, so the next question I got is from the underscore real B. How do you get your headbands like that? Well guys, um, so basically... Guys, all the headbands I have are Nike headbands. And actually, I feel like a lot of people get confused like that. They're like, is the headband even custom too? Nah, it's just, this is a Nike headband. And um, I took the Nike part off, or I flipped on the other side, or anything like that. And guess what? I just put my name on it. Supersonic. And guys, you know, 
that's how I make my headbands. And um, a lot of people are doing it now. A lot of people are doing it now. And um, not to say that I kind of created, but I felt like I kind of started a little trend. So kind of give me some like percentage on that, like, you know, a good 50% on that because I started a trend. You know, your boy over here about to start another trend. I don't. Okay, let me stop doing Jay Z. But guys, let me just say this. Um, that's how you do their headbands. And guys, if you guys want any more information on how to do it, just hit me up in the DMs on my Instagram or my YouTube. Just hit me up and I'll let you know any more information about how to do my headbands like this. So anyway, that is your question. So this is my last question and it says, do you spend, okay, forgot to do their name part. But anyway, we skate said, do you spend with your eyes closed or your eyes open? So with me, okay, so for, it depends how long I'm spending actually for. So if I'm spending for about a good, let's say, you know, 10 seconds, I just be like, okay, so I feel the dizziness or anything, I close my eyes. But usually when I just spin, I close my eyes because I just like, I it feels, I don't know why, it's just so cool to close your eyes and then spin because it makes you feel like you're in Wonderland. But yeah, so, um, yeah, just make sure, like, it's good to also actually, like, you know, close your eyes because it's like you don't want to stop and then get all dizzy and stuff like that. And also, people who've been actually spending that long and keeping their eyes um, closed have been, like, kind of, like, sick. So, it depends how you feel. So, like, you know, I like doing my eyes closed, but, you know, it's whatever it feels for you because I don't want you, you know, finna kill yourself over trying to do a spin. And, yeah, so... You know, it's just all how you feel comfortable. I like mine. It's how I like my way. And, yeah. So, guys, that answers your question. All right, guys. That's it for this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want for the next video. I'm telling you guys, we are on the road to 100 subscribers. And, guys, thank you guys so much once again for the support. And, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, before I do that. So, guys, listen. I need you guys to go ahead and go to my TikTok right now and follow it because I'll have some amazing content, especially on there. Because guys, I'm just now kind of like getting into TikTok or whatever because I never really cared about TikTok. But see, I was there before like when musically. But then when TikTok came in, I just never really cared. So yeah, but guys, go ahead and follow my TikTok. I'm telling you, we got some amazing content coming on there soon. And guys, just stay up with your boy. So guys, TJ Yonso TV is signing out. Deuces! Well, okay, that wasn't even deuces. That was very much. Which, rock on! Anyway, guys, TJ Young Soul TV! Deuces!